Well, spring got here before I was ready, and so I didn't get all the 200 hour service done. I had one more item left to do. Summer's been busy as well, so it just kept putting it off. But I finally have time this afternoon to change the front axle oil. It's supposed to be done at 200 hours. I'm finally getting to it. I have about 250 hours on it. I hope the whole front axle doesn't fall off at this point. But I don't think it will. First thing I want to say is that this video is sponsored by the folks at greenfarmparts.com. They provided the materials for this oil change as well as all of our 200 hour service that we've shown you in previous videos. Most of them were called Johnny's Essential Oils. We'll call this one one of Johnny's Essential Oils as well, the front axle oil. Okay, we're looking right in here from the front right side. And right down here we can see this nut. That's the first thing we have to take off to drain the main part of the oil. This is a 14 millimeter socket. This particular nut seems to be a tight fit for the 14 millimeter, but I'm sure that's what it is. Let's see if I can take it off from an angle that you can see the oil come out. Now I will vent this up here to allow it to come out a little easier. There are additional drains out here by the wheels. These are a lower part of the axle and they just wouldn't naturally drain from that plug in the middle. Since those are a little bit lower, I could have probably put it on a jack or used some other approach like that, but I just used an old cottage cheese container and I've cut the side out of it. And this is how I intend to catch the oil there. So I'll place that cottage cheese container under there. Again, it's 14 millimeter. There it comes. Uh-oh, maybe not such a good plan. More oil coming out of that than I expected. Well, I averted disaster. Okay, here we go with the, a little bit more. There's only supposed to be 2.2 quarts total, so I was surprised to see so much coming out of this side of the axle. On the other side, I tried to use a cottage cheese container. It wasn't quite big enough, as you'll see there in that video. So I think I'll try this Cool Whip container. It's a little bit wider and still kind of short. Besides, Cool Whip tastes a little better than cottage cheese anyway, right? I guess one could wonder why I always have these kind of containers for oil and everything. Well, Christy saves them and puts them out here for me for this kind of purpose. It's pretty tight for this little ratchet, but it did the job. It's kind of like it's got Loctite or something on it because once uh, I break it loose, then it goes very easily. So here we go. Hopefully this Cool Whip container is large enough to hold all the oil. Along about now I start to panic, right? Okay, so there's the true test. A Cool Whip container perfectly level, will hold the oil. It looks like it's got some fine cuttings in it. The front one had stopped draining, so I put its plug back in. Gotta tighten it up. Okay, here we are on the left side one, and it's stopped draining. So, we'll put its plug back in. And now we'll put the plug back in the right side. Now, when it comes time to fill up, the axle with oil. The owner's manual recommends that we open a little vent. It's letter D in the picture on the owner's manual. This vent has an Allen head screw and it's uh, four millimeters. So I've got this little socket mount four millimeter Allen wrench. Now I hope you can see it. It's, it's a little bit dark here. It's hard for me to get lit, but the Allen screw is right here. Looks like it's got some Teflon tape around it. Now we didn't really need to take the vent out while we were emptying the oil because the fill cap up here served as the vent. But we're going to be pouring in the oil through the fill cap this time. So here comes the little vent. And there's the vent hole. Okay, got my trusty funnel in the fill opening. I'm going to start putting my low vis high guard in here. It's supposed to hold 2.2 quarts. Oops, I dumped too fast. So even with the vent open, it won't take it real fast. You know, when I first got this shed, I tried to, I really worried about spilling oil on my nice concrete and everything. And I still don't like to, but I just decided it's not worth it to panic and start wiping it up immediately. I'll, I'll get it wiped up. Even with the vent open, sometimes it seems like it has trouble getting air. That's not a situation of it being, you know, full or whatever. It's just a situation of not getting sufficient air. Now I had just over two quarts in the container here, so. The operator's manual says to wait at least an hour before you do a final test because it takes it a while to settle all the way down into the both sides of the axle. It also says to check periodically for the first several hours after you've made this change and make sure that you've got sufficient oil. If we look on our little dipstick here, you can see, I'll hold it right up here close, and the top of the hatched marks there are the absolute full mark and the bottom of the stick 
is the low mark. So as long as it's in those hashed marks somewhere, there's sufficient oil. Okay, I can see the oil in the stick, so that's enough for now. And then we'll put the little vent plug right back in. This is the kind of thing, could be a little delicate about getting the thread started just right. So if it doesn't go in smoothly, don't force it until you're pretty sure you got threaded straight. Okay, that should do it. Really a pretty easy job. All we had to do was drain it in three different places. Make sure you have a big enough container under the axle there. When we go to put the oil back in, make sure we remove the vent hole with the Allen plug on the top right side. Operator's manual will show you that. Fill it with oil, fill it slowly. Check it periodically, like check it every hour or so for a little while after uh, you get it filled, just to make sure it stays full and after it's settled down in there. Easy project, I should have done this sooner. But I've got it done now. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim.